We are at the Pecos River near the High Bridge. Um, just a spot probably like 50 minutes to an hour from Waff. That's free. Yeah, I mean, it's, I think anyone should come down here and have some free time, check it out. Climbing is just a super awesome sport because everyone's just so supportive and like welcoming. Um, I know that uh, the main way I've learned to climb outdoors especially was just getting to know people at the local gym in Colorado Springs and just being like, hey, like you need a belay partner, you want to climb together? And they're like, sure, and you know, just make some friends, you know, make some uh, plans to do a climbing trip on the weekend. And that's kind of how I learned is just from other people sharing their experience with me, whether it was like setting up uh, belays or top ropes. People don't care what your skill level is when you're getting into it. Um, you know, it's, I think people think of it a lot of times as just being all about being strong or, you know, having a, you know, high like strength to body weight ratio or something or being skilled at it. But that's part of it. But I mean, even if you can barely get up something that people consider easy, no one's judging you. Like, it's all about where you are and getting better and making friends more than it is about just being good at climbing. There's a lot of parallels, even, I'd say, between climbing and flying because, you know, in a way we're doing checklists, you know, you're checking over choice harnesses, like I have two, four, six, eight, ten, my knot's good, um, our carabiners are locked, so you know, it's just a lot of uh, checking each other, um, trusting each other that, you know, I'm going to catch him if he takes a fall, I'm doing my uh, proper thing, keeping my hand on the rope and all that, so it definitely builds a lot of trust and uh, it's just, you know, a fun way to hang out with friends too. thing for me out here at the Pecos is it it's like a part of the country that still feels wild to me uh, there's a, a cool sign up at the top that says this is where the Wild West begins and here you get it inside the walls and it's just absolutely wild on uh, protected nature uh, you can kayak you can rock climb cool hiking beautiful vistas and everything so uh, to me that's what's the most refreshing it helps you get more in shape helps you enjoy just the nature and uh, like big thing just getting together with friends uh, you know we have people across squadrons that we don't get to see you know during the work week and stuff when we come out here and can do some practice it's awesome it's, it's super easy to get kind of like trapped into the you know I'm stuck at Laughlin woe is me but I think if you just take the risk get outside try it if you don't like it um, then that's cool but it gives you a new perspective on Laughlin Thing for everybody out here. We what? It really is. We climbed. We fought through mud. Fought through mud. <laughs> we eventually got to boating. Eventually. Uh, saw some history. We didn't bring anything for camping, but you can camp out here. You get fish out here. There's all kinds of stuff. So there's really is something for everybody. Out here. I think I'd, I'd just like to say, you know, especially for students, we're only here for a year, and there's there's so much to do in Del Rio that you really around Del Rio that you you have no idea when you first get here, but there's so many different avenues to find things around here to do, people that have been here a long time. Um, and so to just do that, uh, try your best to get yourself out of your comfort zone in any extra time that you have. Um, yeah, there's just so much beauty in Texas that you really, really have no idea that it's there until you get out and, and make the trip. Um, and if you leave without doing that, you'll, you'll regret it.